Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. I wanted to talk in this video about what is Tether. A lot of people have heard of it. Uh, they, they've seen it on CoinMarketCap and everything else, uh, but they don't actually know what Tether is. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what it is and what it's supposed to be and how it works. So Tether is a coin that's on top of the Omni protocol. The Omni protocol um, changed names a while back. They used to be called MasterCoin. It's basically a layer on top of Bitcoin that's, uh, that's trying to do something to the effect of color coins. Um, they, they had an ICO back in 2013 that was considered the first ever ICO. Anyway, uh, they, they built, Tether built themselves on top of Omni. Um, and basically what they do is they are supposed to be the equivalent of a dollar. So every Tether that exists is supposed to be fully backed by some dollar in some bank somewhere. Now the mystery around Tether happens to be around what bank they use or, uh, and you know how people are supposed to buy tether and 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 things like that and a lot of that is honestly not known very well because it's uh it's kept secret by the people that run it but for some reason the market still values tether at around the dollar and that's kind of the way it was designed it's supposed to represent a dollar and every every tether coin is supposed to be a dollar um the thing about Tether that makes a lot of people nervous is that if it is in a bank account somewhere and it is being transmitted, uh, then there's something called the money transmitter laws in most countries, uh, which means that you have to know your customer and everything else. And the way Tether is traded, it's it does not comply with that in any way, shape or form. So. Uh, that means that if it is centralized in some bank somewhere, the U.S. government can more or less take it because every bank in the United States, every, every bank that interacts with the U.S. dollar um, essentially has to have an account with the Federal Reserve um, or the central bank of the United States. It's called the central bank because all the other banks have an account on the central bank and they're the lender of last resort and so on. Um, so if you want to transact with the dollar, you need to have an account on, in the central bank. Now. If they have an account in the central bank, what can the central bank do? The central bank can shut it down. And that means that all of those funds, all of the tethers that are backed by, uh, by a dollar in some bank somewhere, well, they can get seized at some point, in which case your tethers then would be worthless. So um, that's what makes a lot of people nervous because of the way it works. It's, it's literally how uh, the tethers are back. It's also kind of a mystery how you redeem your tether. So if you have a million dollars in tethers, how do you get a million dollars US in a bank account somewhere for that? Uh, apparently there are larger institutions that are able to do this. This is why tethers continue to uh, you know, accumulate like market cap is because there are apparently large players that are depositing large amounts of money to get Tether and then buy Bitcoin with it or something like that. Uh, nobody really knows exactly how all of that works. Um, apparently there has been something like an audit. Um, it's, uh, it's run by a lot of the same people that run Bitfinex. Um, obviously a lot of exchanges use it, but it, it's hard to tell exactly if it's back number one so because it's uh, you know, no, no auditing firm, ha no accounting firm has actually audited it. And second, uh, you know, nobody really knows how to get the money out. And that, that's a process that a lot of people don't know. Um, there's, there's a lot of controversy around this, especially since a lot of people, um, you know, don't know where the tethers are coming from or going to, uh, what bank account it is and who holds it and whether or not the government can shut it down. So there's that centralization risk as well. So, um, hopefully that, that explains what Tether does. Uh, the nice thing, uh, for a lot of exchanges is that if you're an altcoin exchange, you don't necessarily need to di interact directly with bank accounts. You can interact with Tethers instead. And from a regulatory, know your customer, money transmitter license stuff, uh, AML, KYC laws, it's a lot easier to use Tether. But is it something that's actually backed um, or is it something that you can get actual cash out of? Um, a lot of people have suspicions that maybe you can't, maybe you can, um, but if you can get in and out quickly, maybe it's something that you can utilize in, on a short-term basis. Um, that's really the value proposition. Anyway, song is done.